In Civilization VI, combat is an important factor in any game established right at the start of the screen. Nothing gets you off harder than watching your knights non-consensually slap slinger schlong. But what if I told you there was another way to get your genocidal rocks off, in no part due to me being forced to endure cruel and unusual punishment by constructing scouts last game. And while I'd rather get caught with my tits out in the back alleys of Tehran than build scouts, I I will endure the suffering and conquer the world by sacrificing scouts to summon a succubus. By repeatedly throwing my scouts against fortified positions, I can utilize my succubi's ability to drain their victims of their combat strength and slowly but surely create an indestructible genocidal machine. Now, while giving me a super weapon is like giving Hitler a military, you might be saying, Civ Lifer, this is a non-optimal solution as just playing normally and gaining a tech advantage would make domination a much simpler task. The rules, deity difficulty, obtain 2,000 combat strength and leave no scout alive. Can I break Mao's long-standing record? Will my carpal tunnel prevent me from ever visiting Chicago ever again? Make sure to grab your favorite body pillow, obliterate that like button like it was caught building scouts unironically, and sit back as you watch me answer those questions and radicalize newly orphaned children in the name of YouTube entertainment. Starting the game, my scientists have perfectly designed a test scenario that will prove an ideal habitat for this experiment with one city-state and me on our own little island away from everybody else. Bill Clinton, what are you doing here? Deity, mods, and I've decided to select Cyrus's Persia due to the extra move speed when showing up to a party unannounced with an assortment of dangerous weapons. The Colombian energy supplements will allow my scouts to move at Mach 4 when I establish a road network between myself and the terror victims. I began the game by sending my units to explore, set up a tech and culture path which will matter shortly I promise, and going to find a barb camp so I can obtain my vampire babe. The problem? It's the ancient era and I smell like a moderator in a can causing all the bad bitches to hide whenever I enter the county code. After about three restarts, still no luck and as evidenced by my not doing anything for three minutes, my rage is palpable. I keep going and the next encampment finally gives me the vampires, however instead of a soul-sucking a corpse well past its expiry date graces my screen and being an of-age male, I deem it safe to join forces with the Catholic priest possessing more than just skeletons in the closet. I redeem the voucher for my succubus and enslave my populace into the scout corps before showing up to Akkad and informing them of my intention to spread the communist revolution. Knowing they'd rather fight back than slowly starve to death, they make the first move as expected by declaring war and after handing out 10 pounds of Columbia's finest to each scout. I start throwing my units against Akkad's walls, no doubt leaving the cities as defenders perplexed witnessing my brilliant strategy. While I derived great joy from sending in my scouts not knowing they're about to get bum-fiddled by some Assyrians, I realize we have a problem. You see, in order to obtain maximum efficiency, I need more production. At least enough to build scouts in one turn to optimize. And with all our genetic failures sent to deal with low-tier god if he had cursed yourself. speech, there aren't enough people deemed fit enough for our sweatshops. I do build a few builders and secure Classical Republic for Ago Gay, which I'm not sure if it even gives production to scouts, but I got nothing else. And the extra production from policy cards. This fails to produce a sufficient amount as I have to retreat my succubus lest she realizes there are men out there who don't smell like mustard gas. To rectify the situation, I decide nation building isn't an optional step and that I should probably get to feeding my people. I construct settlers, build infrastructure, and build up my empire, leaving the genocidal succubus strategy on the back burner. After spreading seeds like Pornhub sponsored this video, along with Ancestral Hall giving a free builder with every city while supplies last, I am able to build up my power base. All was going well until I realized that 
that without any neighbors to trade with, my normal money-making moves of setting up the military-industrial complex proves futile and I am in a worse financial position than a Twitch streamer with a recently exposed secret relationship. Emphasized by the minor flood that would have killed 50 million in China, I'm forced to divert more production to a dam, further reducing my productive capacities. I managed to establish a merchant republic used to increase my gain substantially, but the real golden coin shower occurred when Gatarja found me, making it the first time. I wanted to meet her for reasons other than her tit. It seems my remarking on how no ground is dirty enough I wouldn't fall to my knees and bark for her was lost in translation. With the economy built, industry planted, harem of succubi built, it was time to take off the condom and cross the Akkadian border. As I'm enacting my final solution for scouts in my empire, I meet my inspiration and decide to just reveal the map since I was bored. With only five civilizations, I asked what happened to the sixth, but they informed me they got sick of Gandhi. Why'd you summon me? Please don't ask me, homie. And let's just say I'd be surprised if Katarja wasn't on Epstein's list with how she raped Gandhi. All was going well with my vampire gaining combat strength, but stuck at only 333, things are not progressing fast enough. As you can see, my computer is chugging along like it's got all the engine lights on, and I'm afraid if we get to turn 2000 like originally planned, my PC will point at me and laugh before combusting two seconds later. So I needed a way to improvise. But how would I inject enough testosterone and illegal steroids to make my vampire look like it's got anchor arms? The answer? Cheating. It's always cheating. I summon an infinite number of scouts before planting the industry I need for a hydrogen bomb. My dopamine receptors are still recovering to this day and I am constantly tweaking like I was on crystal meth. Unfortunately, my vampire didn't share my views and gained just one combat strength. This isn't gonna be easy, is it? My trial left my mental in a state even Mr. Clean couldn't fix up, as well as a new status as enemy number one in Chicago with hands in a permanent state of crippage. As I was forced to endure hours of clicking scout, clicking the city, and repeating thousands of times, but that's not all. Multiple times I accidentally attacked too far and answered the age-old question of how many scouts it takes to eliminate a 200 combat strength city. The answer? I couldn't tell you I wiped this portion of my life from memory to preserve scarless wrists and blood volume. After countless days, numerous hours, and multiple prescriptions of hemorrhoid cream obtained and used, it was time for the good stuff. With over 2,000 combat strength, it was time to inflict all my pain and suffering onto the rest of the world. Or so I thought. However, something strange happened and we did one damn- I'm sure it's fine. It's because of the walls. 183 combat strength strength is too large. Buying a carrier fleet using prayers and bombing a cod to the ground. But no. You see, after informing Indonesia I was coming for the holy milkers, my invasion was stopped as my vampire does one damage. Now it's not as if I get one shot, we both take no more than one damage, but something went wrong with the game's code, as it seems that this world is not ready for such a powerful being to be alive yet. So what can be taken from this lesson? Well, simple. The deaths of millions of people is justifiable with no reason, if they are scouts. And if you liked this genocide, watch me genocide the entire world with planes in the ancient era in this video.